The Fairy of Mommy. She rolled to the seaside. Her body took the shape of a ball, and grains of sand wrapped her. And remained the indisputable witness of her presence by sticking more and more to her body. Her hair was dishevelled, entangled with sea scallops, and embellished in a messy way with scarlet shells and black sea weeds. The water of Porto Cayo are always hospitable and ready to welcome every dive of hers. And be washed with her primitive beauty, the fairy of Mani lives in the caves of Inner Mani, and Oitalo. But her favorite beach is Porto Cayo, located in the southern neighborhood of Cape Dinaron. For centuries, in the summers, you will find her hang about there. Sometimes she stands nailed on the tall rocks at other. She basks the Armeno, Armeno Petra scanning the ships, which sail timidly around Cape Mills, and sending fortunate words and smiles. Most of the time, though, she is lost to the blue waters, transforms into mermaid, finds home in the sea bottom, and saunters on the earth at nights. During the autumn, she comes back to her cave. At Dairos, underneath Aeropolis, and dedicates herself to take care of her home. Her cave is full of stalactites and lakes with brackish water, and she doesn't have only one cave, but all the caves of the area have accepted and accommodated her. If you find yourself there in September, get in, hold your breath, and listen. You will feel her warm breath like a sigh in the air, and her heartbeat echoes on the walls. You will also hear drops and watery sounds piercing the silence. It truly is her lonely swim in the cold waters. She wasn't always alone. Her love drowned at the sea in one of his travels, and fate endowed her with immortality and eternal beauty. By calling her the fairy of Mani, for consolidation, so the Cetirian Lake became the place where she spends her winters, and Porto Cayo is her haunt during the summer. She had thought of neither complaining nor escaping from her fate, but fairies cannot stand loneliness too. Besides, her beloved one got lost years ago. By being a pirate during a naval war, war at Kaithera, in the open sea of Mani, while he was about to moor, his loss had caused her great pain. Which mortal man would be interested in her by noticing that she remains young while he was getting old? She was ready to offer all her love and knowledge to sacrifice her immortality. Only to feel the coupling and challenge of love. All the males who come and go in her home—it's the twenty-first century now—are tourists that, through the eyes of ignorant guides, just take pictures of the beautiful nooks and clean waters of the cave, which the fairy has taken care and polished. Up to this time, and someone left steadily the boat. Swam and stood on the rock at the edge of the grandiose room, the Pacific, the fairy living room. When the sound of the paddles and whispers were lost, the fairy showed up from her nest and suddenly appeared in front of him. He was scared and startled. "Who are you?" he asked, breathless. "Someone who is lost and left, standing like you." Do you live here? Yes, for many years. Then he remained speechless and astonished by her beauty, and shine stemming from her honey-coloured eyes. He couldn't say a word. Come, I'll show you my home. She took him by the hand, and he, being mesmerised, followed her. It was as if he was following her whole path throughout centuries. 
Some told him her story about her favorite places, her habits, and her life. He was listening to her carefully, sucking every word like a sponge, like a like a deck boy, who was taught the basics. Her bed was in a nook full of coral, seaweeds, and sponges. She offered him sea urchin salad and cockles. At first, she hugged him with her hair, and then with her hands. She brushed his hair like a doll. She loved him, although she hadn't seen him before. She desired him like a mortal woman, with the thought that love lasts for a moment. She tasted him like a sweet old wine that warms you and then makes you drunk. The man's family searched for him. Unfortunately, for the fairy of Mani, they found him. He never told them about her, but he kept her in her heart, in his heart. And since then, every summer he looks for her at the rocks and beaches of Mani, and caves of Diras, but in vain. Place name: Arapolis. It is the historical capital of Mani, where the Greek Revolution of 1821 started. It is very close to Diras. Armenopetra. It is a reef at the southern end of Mani. Sailors always pay attention to the reef because it looks like a ship that sails. Diros, the towers of Diros is a village of shady Mani, in the depths of which lies the famous Diros caves. There is an underground river of six thousand meters in total, with many branches that end in the sea. The uniquely beautiful lake cave was discovered by a couple. Of philologists, Ionis and Anna Patrickelis. In 1949, people started visiting the terrestrial parts. In 1958, stalactites and stalagmites, in different shapes and sizes, which were created steadily, by but slowly throughout the centuries, embellished the caves. The room, great ocean. Is it is mentioned as the Pacific in the story? In is one sixty meter in length and thirty meter in height, with innumerable stalactites. It has the greatest depth of fifteen point five meters. Cape Malias. It is the cape of the first peninsula of Laconia, in the area of Neapolis. It is considered to be the most dangerous passage for the ships due to its strong currents. Kaithera. It is a beautiful island underneath the area of Mani. It is. It in its sea many naval battles took place among pirate ships. In the Mani, the southern Mani, Italo. It is an important settlement. Its port is located on the route from Arapolis. To Kalamata, during the Ottoman Empire, it was a pirate retreat and called the Great Algeri. Porto Cayo, the last port reaching the southern end of Mali, its name is Porto Cayo. Port Ox Kelis, Porto means port and Cayo means coil, meaning the port of coils, was alone. From the passage of many migratory birds, especially quails, the hunting of quails with a net was a tradition in the area. It was also a pirate retreat, a fishing village, an anchorage, and a resort of Sami Mani. Cape Tenoran. It is the tip of Peninsula of Mani. In ancient times, its inhabitants were called Tenarayo. The fairy of Mani lives in the caves of Inner Mani, and Oitalo. But her favorite beach is Porto Cayo, located in the southern neighborhood of Cape Tenerone. From centuries, the summers you will find her hang out there. Sometimes she stands nailed on the tall rocks. All the other, she basks in the Armenopurja, scanning the ships which sail timidly around Cape Malias. And sending fortunate words and smiles. 
most of the times, though, she is lost into the blue waters, transforms into mermaid, finds home in the sea bottom, and saunters on the earth at night.